Introducing Perf Tracks, my latest jam and lesson video bundles. Available now at perfectodecastro.com slash perftracks. Check it out. Okay, let's turn to gear, mm. which I see, I see you, uh, you have a whole bunch that are both familiar and unfamiliar to me. Yeah. <laughs> pretty. pretty oh, okay. uh, which one is your number one right now? The V paren? Um, You know, because of all the home recording, the V doesn't get used as much because it's hard when you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. But the nice thing is every everything sounds different so if i need a certain sound and i know exactly what to use so the tele i've been tripping out with a lot the the gretsch I've, i've been having a good time with um it's an electromatic the bigsby is is fun you know um it's just it, it sometimes doesn't it gets out of tune so that bothers me but it's, it's okay you know I, i like everything um i i try to rotate them as much as i can i i, I always feel they get jealous if you don't <laughs> Use them, yeah, yeah, and then they hurt you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this one though is interesting. That's an RJ from the RJ Custom Shop. This thing, yeah. It's, what's that? What's what wood is that? So this, that's mango. Oh, Pretty okay, easy. okay. And um, it's an SG, but it's 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 got a lot of frets. It's it's got more frets than normal. It's it's really nice. Plays like a dream though, you know. So I was very happy. And they put some locking tuners on it. So like all my guitars are utility. Like they yeah. gotta last because I don't like bringing more than one guitar to a gig. If I, can, <laughs> I have to carry that. Right? I mean, I have a roadie, but I like to. When I get home, I have to be the one to unload it. So I, I, I like. So like all of these guitars can do a full three-hour set, except the big, except the Gretsch. That one, it's hard. And because it's hollow body, you know. Yeah, it feed, some of the feedback. Songs, yeah, it's a lot of feedback issues. I mean, I love it. It sounds amazing. It's just, it's I guess the least versatile. Uh, at, at least in a live in a live setting. It's the and then is that the strat that you used to use then? Yeah. Yeah, because that I remember that being souped up, you know, with the graph tech and all that. Yeah, graph tech. It's got I uh, I I sent it over to Avi Hippolito and he put the buzz fighting thing on it. Good. Uh, and then we got a, I have a graphite neck now. A graphite uh, nut and uh, spurs are locking tuners. Everything, but everything else is pretty good. Texas specials, courtesy of Dave Aguirre. He had given it to me, so I had those put in. Um, but yeah, that's a 90, the Strat's a 92 model. Pele is also a 92 model. And the V is a 90, I think that's a 91. So yeah, pretty, pretty, I don't know. And that's it, basically. I've, I've been I've been wanting to go. I really want to get a guitar this year. You know, we were supposed to go to the States, right? This pandemic. 2020 was such a big year. 30 years, Razorback. My 50th birthday. My my 20th wedding anniversary. You know, my son's graduating high school. It was like, you know, it's a big year. We, we, we had a tour lined up. We were going to be in LA. And and, and the, the thing on my mind was, I have to go and I'm going to get myself finally a, a Les Paul. And I want a three pickup, Peter Frampton, black gold trimming Les Paul and I was waiting to do that but I have a weird mania where I have to I can't I gotta touch it I got if it's a guitar I have to touch it I have to play it I can't just I can't buy it sight unseen you know I mean amps are the same I can't I, I just can't I have to sit there I have to at least try dude even if I strum it once and it's I'm happy I just have to be able to do that or else I can't justify the purchase That was my plan. So that's still in the plan. And as soon as I get out there, I'm totally doing it. <laughs> so yeah, my... Well, let, let me know. We'll go We'll go Guitar Safari. I would love it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you to a couple of places. Hopefully, they're still around. <laughs> Hopefully, they're still around. <laughs> Introducing the Bad 94 Distortion, the Perf De Castro signature pedal. Now available to order from the following retailers. GCRockboard.com, GuitarPusher.com, and from the official website, PerfectoDeCastro.com. Links in the description. But the oh, thing is, still around, right? yeah, because like that's an actual concern. Yeah, because like, like the guitar centers, dude. Guitar center already had a lot of trouble, right? They they filed for bankruptcy before the pandemic, even. Yeah, well, they were yeah. going bankrupt before the pandemic, and then but but here's the interesting thing: during the pandemic, their problem became they couldn't stock up. Uh, well enough. Wow. Like, like they were like literally empty. Because wow, like they were, ev- they were shutting out. Yeah, because with everybody at home, 
You know, yeah. suddenly, the, oh, I'm gonna buy a guitar. I'm gonna finally learn guitar since there's nothing else to right. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then and then they couldn't they couldn't get stocks quickly enough. Everything was sold out. That's hilarious. Yo, you went from from one end to the other, like yeah, but you know, but, but in the same no time, sales to too much. <laughs> no, no sales to too much sales, but they're still not making enough money because they can't sell yeah, anything. They, 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 they can't sell anymore. You know, and no, and then it's hard to get stock now because of the shipping issues all, all around the world. Yeah, like that world. that that fiasco at the Suez Canal, diba? Right? Everything. You know that boat that boat only got released a couple of weeks ago. I know, I know. There's twenty thousand containers in that on that boat. <laughs> yeah, Sinarius. so everything everything was delayed and every the yeah. prices got shot up. It's like ah, uh, it's yeah. No, and shipping now it's almost impossible. To, if you're gonna ship, if you're coming out of Asia, but the shipping for a container is like 20 grand US. Used to be like five or less. Now it's 20. It's ridiculous, man. So a lot of people are like, well, that's you know either either that's screwing with their with their pricing or they're just not gonna kick into it. And then another thing is space. You can't get space. So they're like, okay, we're ready. We want, but dude. Okay, yeah, it's backlog. In, in, in four weeks, you can have space <laughs> on a boat. It's like that. Grab it. So there's going to be a lot. And you're not going to feel it now, but you will start feeling it in America not too long from now because you get a lot from China. Yeah, oh, we're, we're, we're feeling it now, dude. This, like, it, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, either, it's not, either not available or it's too pricey. Like mm. imagine like wood, wood, kahoy. Yeah. In Home Depot, dude. That is, yeah. You know, if, if you have a home project, you could get enough wood for like uh, for it for like 60 bucks Ngayon, yeah. if you price it out 200 dollars <laughs> okay uh, screw the project uh, just, go, just go chop a tree then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chop your own tree yeah no but speaking of home depot this is there i think they're one of the companies that had to solve this problem they chartered their own boat because they get enough containers right so they instead of paying these these outrageous fees they just chartered their own boat na lang to bring their stuff back and forth yeah Parang ganun, <laughs> probably, ganun. probably end up cheaper than <laughs> yeah no i think it was and then at least sigurad your supply is guaranteed you always have stuff coming in it's a it's a bad it's a crazy time so i'm not surprised i know, you know? dude like i went to a guitar warehouse a few months ago and it was empty like uh yeah. The warehouse for Tajima guitars. Like wow. they said, oh, yeah, yeah, we're expecting something in March, but there's, I, I don't know if it's gonna ha- happen because that was yeah. like the height of that, the height of that whole fiasco, you know. Exactly. Yeah, and and, and wow. yeah, and all our dealers are calling us for for yeah. stocks, I, and I and I can't give them any. I know. Yeah. And that, that hurts. That hurts all around. Yeah, it's a big so warehouse and it's that, empty. Dude, speaking of sales and inventory, I just read, I should send you the article. You know, Mike Campbell. Mike Campbell. Campbell. Yeah, yeah. Baker. He's having a big cl- clearance sale on reverb.com. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Saw that. Yeah. Because he's, you know, these guys have tons of gear. He's like Manuel Pala. You know, Manuel's like that. He, he don't stop Shh. buying gear. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I didn't say that. <laughs> But he sells also. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Really, no, really, no, it's 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 a, it's a revolving door. It's a revolving yeah. door. Yeah, but then, but but if you're not selling too much, then you're accumulating. So there's a lot of cool stuff. So I'm I'm thinking to check it out. Thing is, I know the prices are gonna be. I'm, I'll be paying for the the, oh, the it's premium. My yeah, petty. You know, I, you know, not so much for just the equipment. Well, that'd be lower than uh, Neil Sean's. I'm sure, man. Sh- Neil Sean put up a lot of his guitars, like the the Don't Stop Believing Les Paul. Oh you know, really? uh, yeah, and then all the a few months back, I said, remember, young bad English time, he uh, he came out with his own line of guitars. Sean, 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 yeah. Sean guitars, right? yeah. He bought back a bunch of those, and now they're up for auction. And then right. he he has some really like really nice vintage pieces too, like fifty nine Les Paul, fifty eight yeah. Strat. Hey, come 50, on, he played on Abraxas, man. Yeah, I know. He's he's been around a while, so he's, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, you know, <laughs> and then there's a there's a comment uh, so Facebook somewhere like, "Oh, dude, you're scaring me. Why are you selling all your guitars?" And <laughs> and, and and then comment like, "Oh, no, no, uh, it's it's time to let these go. I still have eight hundred left." <laughs> huh? Really. <laughs> I know. No, but think about it. I mean, look at uh, it was like Dave Gilmour, dude. But that that his strat is sell for four million, six million. I know, I know. The black, the black strat. The black strat. But, yeah, but he was saying he goes. I mean, think about it. And and you know, the people like the Rolling Stones, Keith Richards had the same problem. I have a warehouse that just 
keeps the guitars. And, and as you know, um, especially in America, here not so bad because our humidity, actually, no, it's bad. We have too much humidity, you have too little. So where we would use a dehumidifier, you would need humidification inside. So you have to have some sort of live environment. It can't just be stagnant because stuff's going to break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be uh, controlled. Yeah. yeah. Although it's he, he... Man, dude. So, you know, you got you to gotta watch about for all that stuff. There's a lot to deal with. So it gets expensive. And then, and then really, if I mean, I, I can't fathom 800 guitars. I can't even <laughs> fathom 20. What, that's too much. I can't. Like, I, I like to keep things really simple. Like, I, I'll, you know, I, I like to play everything I own. So I'm not a, I'm not a horrible uh, gear hound in, in that sense. Like, um, but I mean, I can maybe get a couple more, but I, I can't see myself with you know 30 guitars i wouldn't know what to do i mean i i would feel bad because i know like some of them wouldn't get played enough then i'd feel like like they're my children like oh they're neglected <laughs> i feel bad about it gusto mga epektos perf de castro to at welcome sa bahay ni pekto sana enjoy kayo dito sa episode ng perf talk Break lang tayo saglit para sa ilang announcement. Ang PDC Signature Picks na gawa ng Anatomy of Sound ay available na dyan sa Pilipinas. I-message nyo lang sa Facebook ang AJ Guitar Setup or i-search nyo si Alfred Jan Garduque. Ang bawat pakete ay naglalaman ng tatlong pick at sila ay classified depende sa kulay. Ang puti ay ang soft, ang kulay flesh naman ay medium at ang kulay itim ay ang hard. Ngayon, kahit magkakaiba ang kanilang tigas, eh, 3D printed ang contours nito. Kaya iisa lang yung grip at masarap siya gamitin. Ngayon, meron tayong iba't ibang klaseng available. Ito yung regular sized pick na pang gitara. Meron tayong mas malaki ng konte para sa bass. Meron ding heartbeat at heartbeat jazz shape para sa mga shredders. <laughs> at ang personal kong gamit ngayon ay ang heart attack pick. At katulad ng PDC Heartbeat Picks, ang Heart Attack ay tatluhan din bawat pakete at magkakaiba rin yung kanilang hardness. Ang kaibahan lang ay uh, hindi pa PDC branded ang packaging. Pero hindi naman importante yan eh. Mas importante yung pick mismo. Ang Anatomy of Sound PDC Signature Picks ay available dyan sa Pilipinas sa halagang 700 pesos lang. Kasali na doon ang delivery fee. Limited lang ang stocks kahit i-message yun na kagad ang AJ Guitar Setup sa Facebook. Marami na rin nakabili ng bagong design ng PDC shirts and merch mula sa gcrockboard.com. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na suporta at uh, ang plano ko ay eh, every month meron akong ilalabas na bagong design. So meron na ngayong available sa gcrockboard.com slash PDC, both sa black shirts at saka sa black na mug. At pag nakuha nyo ng inyong PDC merch, either picks, shirts, mugs, bad94, eh, padala nyo lang ako ng picture through Facebook or Instagram para masali ko kayo sa future videos. Okay, hanggang doon na lang muna. Balik na tayo sa Perf Talk. The, the way I look at it is like, like uh, I have a gig, I have gigs coming up. The way I choose which guitars to use is which ones have... Yeah, that's the, a good question. How do you yeah. choose? Uh, which ones have the freshest strings? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, so if I, if I know... like. Here, the, the humidity is not that bad. You know, it, it's not that dry. So it's it's like perfect for, for guitars. 50% humidity. Good. And then I don't, I don't, I'm not acidic. So I, so my, right, stri yeah. my strings don't rust. Like I have, nice. I, right now, because of this pandemic, I haven't changed strings since, <laughs> since the last time I gigged. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's which, excellent, man. Which is like, <laughs> so yeah, so, some of these guitars have two year old strings. You know? That's awesome. And that's it's even so that's even with me playing playing them and recording and, and teaching and yeah. all that. And then plus the, the strings I use, uh the Kurt Mangan strings, they don't break, dude. <laughs> oh, they're like that. That's the leg, man. Yeah, that's they, like, yeah, they don't they don't break. I'm a notorious string breaker. Ah, really, because first of all, it's very humid here. I'm yeah. very acidic. Ah <laughs> and then and then I always yeah, play string. Yeah, I remember that's that's the reason why you have the graph tech on the strat. That's why, yeah, that's why I had the graph tech. In fact, on the V, I, I have this nut. Uh, I have a bridge that's got a roller, not roller bridge. So that, but because you know, because of the humidity and that stuff freezes up <laughs> at some point. <laughs> yeah, I, with, I, that, I really with the change. sweat and the thing. Yeah, dude, I really should change it. But 
just quickly, have you evolved uh, your string? Uh, have you changed your string uh, use, or are you using the same strings, more or less, same gauge, same? Like, same everything? gauge. I have. I have a. Because the the, in the company that I'm working with right now, I've been working with them since 2005. I know the owner, and then I came up with this custom gauge, and that's that's what cool. I that's what I use. So. It's what, a, what is it? It's a 10 to 50. Hey, that's like what I use. That's heavy tops, a skinny bottom. Skinny bottom. But but not as... I say usually heavy bottom is 10 to 52. At 52, yeah. Yeah. So this is it's like... 10 to 50. So my first and second strings are regular 10s, like 10, 13. And then the third string, I make it one gauge heavier. So it's an 18, 18. instead nice. of 17. And then the, the, the bottom strings... Fourth string is the same. It's a 26. And then... The fifth string, I uh, it's plus two, so thirty eight, and then fifty, and then fifty. Yeah. So yeah, that way when I when I hit the guitar, it doesn't go, it doesn't twang out of tune. You know, you know how it is. Exactly. Like, yeah. It's great for drop D. It's tight for drop D. I uh, I can use the same guitar to tune to tune down to E flat, and I don't have to mess yeah, around yeah, with yeah. the thing. You know. So, yeah, no, that's right. I, I have the same. Uh, I was exactly the same. I, lo- I, I don't break as many D strings because I always break a D and an A. Every other string normally survives. It's the D and the A. But since I've moved up and it's stronger, they last a little long. They can go two gigs now. without. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but and like open tuning because I use a bunch of different tunings. Ah, there and, you go. Um, so it's important to, to get. I was going to ask you, you know, you know, you know, Addis, you remember Addis, right? Our roadie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Addis, yeah. So th- there was a company, I think it was called Tronic. They made this thing. The tuner? Yeah, that you stuck to the back of the headstock. Yeah, and then it, it retunes. Parang yes. Like the Gibson robot tuners. Yes. And and in fact, they had a deal with Gibson, I think. Too. There was a certain run of Gibsons that came with these. And a lot of people hated them. About it. And, and that, that was the problem. And and they're, they're out of Germany, out of Berlin, in fact. And Aris lives in Berlin. And he works in like a really big music store in Berlin. And so I called him up. I go, Riz, what do you think of this? He goes, listen, man, all my guys here say, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because it would be, so, dude, press a button and because I use like four, I use about three or four different tunings, man. So it's nice, you know, in between like that to do that. Jimmy Page was the spokesperson for that for a while because it, it, because it had the tunings, right? Yeah. The, the problem with that is you have to replace the tuners, right? But then it also takes over tuning for you. You can't just go and adjust. Oh, that's why that's, that's why bad. it was hated. That's why it was hated. So let's say right. you're let's say you're playing, no, you're playing, and then E string goes out, and you just want to do this. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you have Ooh. to. You have to literally take your hand off and press the button, and then it'll tune itself up, and then you can then you can play again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't work. Yeah. 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 So right. that's, that's that's a big. The, that's a small thing, but it's a very big deal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's very good deal. Exactly. Like uh, my my Les Paul, you see that? I bought that yeah. as a I, I bought that as a project. It it came uh, new. It came with one of those with those robot robot tuners. Um, but then but then I just got it like neck and body lang, and then I I, I then I refurbished it. Yeah. So yeah. you didn't you, you don't fancy them. No, dude. I mean, I I picked them up at Guitar Center. I tried them. I put it down. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. It's like no. This is and why. I love and I love technology, dude. I love technology. Yeah, I know. But yeah, but you can't. No, you can't. I, I can't. You, you yeah. know, this is like this reminds me of, of phones. Um, you know, you know. Um, remember the old uh, trio? You you had a trio, I think, the Palm Trio. T R E. Oh yeah, trio. Yeah, right? yeah. You know what is the great thing about that phone, and one of the most revolutionary things about it was the the that there was a mute switch, which iPhones use today. All iPhones, no matter, okay, no buttons, no nothing, but there's a mute switch. That little click, that it's uh, that human interface will not go away. That fact that you can one click, one little click, you can mute it. So the same with the tuners. That's you need to be able to. Yeah, it's a small thing. I mean, technology is great, but you still have to be able to have that safety out so yeah man i was i was so keen to get one i was di- I, and you know i know I, and i know it was bad because i emailed them and they never replied and yeah, i couldn't get through <laughs> to them and i guess they were they're on their way out <laughs> there but it doesn't sound like it's a it doesn't sound like a difficult fix man well the, the thing is like 
strings always stretch, dude. I mean, it you it's not set and forget. Every time you pick up a guitar, you have to tune it. Then the premise of their system is that tuning is absolute, which is no. not, which is yeah, not. No, okay. So so the so the little variables that you have to deal with, hindi hindi na factor in sa equation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was it was good. It sh- it would have been good, you know. On paper, yeah, one one button, open E, open G, you know, and it, and it, and it was a physical thing. It's not digital. It's not like the Line Six Variax na me programmable tunings. Oh it, my god, I've, I've never even tried that. What's that like? It's weird. It's weird. It must be weird. No, it's weird because it, it it's it's good if you don't hear the acoustic side of the guitar right of course so if, if so if you if you flood yourself with the sound of just the output you can make you should it work, you should yeah. it should be fine but then <laughs> kung, kung if you're uh, listening to speakers and then <laughs> and then you're hearing the ito naka open yeah, the string noise yeah the no string chance. noise diba? yeah. Tas, tas parang, let's say the the open string is e dito and then you're hearing uh, a d <laughs> so, so, so <Yeah>. speaker <laughs> it's like, bad, ah! bad. you know Cacophony. Yeah, it's like yo. So you, you line six, you Roland VGA. That day you you right, put, you put the one. MIDI pickup, the right? and then it'll change tunings, you know. And even even like having the acoustic sound, or you know, but it yeah, it's not the same. It's I not. Mean, the, it doesn't I, fool you. It's like no, yeah. Yeah. I, but, I always use those things as effects. Like okay, it's the acoustic sound, but I'm I'm not gonna use it as an acoustic guitar. Use it as an effect. Like I needed it to sound that way, uh, like. You know, a certain way, then I, I could use that, but I would never, but I wouldn't substitute it for an acoustic. I'll just get an acoustic. Yeah. yeah. But although the, I would say that the, the, the sitar sound is fun. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with a lot of, of uh, what's coming out now, man. So, like, w- one of my main my main rigs is the, uh, the Korn LE, right? But I have the big old one, dude. It's this big. It's here. It's massive. I mean, I, I, I could turn this thing and show you, but it's it's freaking huge. <laughs> and then the newer one's really little, right? Which is nice. But, you know, and, but this thing has the has the vacuum tubes and all that. I can't, I mean, oh, it still works great, so I don't want to get rid of it. You know, plus it's 110, so it's a pain, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't blow it in Japan. Don't, don't blow one. it up. <laughs> I did. I did. Oh, you did? Yes, I, I had to order a, a, another unit from the UK. There was no other. I mean, I, I, I rewired it here. You know how they do it here. But I had to go to the UK and get like a, a unit for it. Which I did. And now it's 220. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Less. And then I, I, I see you still use the small crate. Dude, this thing's the best, man. <laughs> Power block. Power block, dude. <laughs> they don't make that anymore. No, no, they don't. They don't. They yeah. don't. No, they don't. I mean, th- that's been my live rig for the last... Uh, not not just this, but I mean, a- as a philosophy, maybe 10 years more, where I don't use um, the preamp. I, I go... I go through the power amp section of any amp that I'll use. And so what I'll do is I'll have, so like, this is my, so like, this is my, my how do you call it? my, my pet, my gig rig, right? It's the fly rig, right? Sans amp. So that I'll plug straight into the return. And I would do the same with the LE and anything I would use. I would always just go through the return. I would always bypass the preamp. And so I always needed a power amp and, and, I don't know why, but it always gave me a truer sound. I, I always had a problem with effect pedals going into the preamp section. It's felt like I'm doubling the preamp, and I, I, I had so much trouble dealing with that. But when I found that if you bypass the, the preamp section, you kick it straight to the power section, it, it solved all of that. But your but your your pedal has to be strong output. So like so this one, so I like this. The LE, of course, was perfect, it worked really well. And then this little fly thing, fly rig, works really well too. And this this thing is great, dude. I love it. It's 150 watts split channel. There's two channels of 75 each, and uh, one channel na 150. And it's freaking brilliant. They they don't make. I don't know why. Why wouldn't you make it anymore? It's out of product. I no, because crate went under. Ah, ganun ba? Yeah. So the the new company that makes amps like that right now is uh, Quilter. Quilter. Yeah, that's gonna be. That was another thing I wanted to purchase when I was going. There was a, an amp, a little shadow, shadow something. Uh, I, f- I forget. I have it on my thing. But it's like a small, like that, uh, but power amp lang. And, and so I, I, I really wanted to go get that. Um, but it, but those are, these, are, these things are not available on Guitar Center and all of that. Yeah, yeah you, you got to order them. You got to order them. And, I've always, and I like to go and try. And that, that's my thing. When you're ready for new pedal day, 
Use discount code GCPERF10 at gcrockboard.com to get 10% off your entire order. You can use the code multiple times and there is no expiration date. Enjoy. You've seen Manuel's uh, Blue Blue Amp, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's uh, the, the it's it's built into the pedal board. I have I, know. I have a 100 watt amp that's that's in uh an enclosure that it's like a rat like enclosure. Pedal oh, amp no. na na Pedal amp kidding, na na it's, that, it's that small. That's hilarious, man. Uh, oh, wait. I have it here. That's hilarious. I mean, that's what I need, man. <laughs> this one. <laughs> You're kidding. That's the whole amp. It's a whole that's amp. It's great. actually it's actually a two-channel amp. It's got a distortion <laughs> and a clean. And then it's got a speaker speaker out, uh, speaker simulated out. So if you don't want a mic, you can, you can go straight. Record. Yeah. And then Fantastic, uh, man. And uh, effect send and return. Too bad that the company's not very good. <laughs> Oh no. The company's oh, not very good, but I, I have this. I, I just use this for my as a backup amp. So in, in case yeah. my, my main amp goes down, yeah. I, I can I'm I'm back up. Up and running. Well I'm again. you know, because I mean and this thing works great, but I you know, as like all things, man, uh, wear and tear, at some point this thing might conk out, so I need a replacement. So that was another objective that I had. I have this though. This is fun. Have you have you seen this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's this that's... thing is freaking great, dude. <laughs> this thing is freaking great. It's twenty-two. It's like a twenty-two watt, not ten watts. It's a twenty-two caliber. Po- it's but it's full power amp. It's great. This is what I normally I power my talk box with this. That's what I use when I when I go out. But uh, well, since since the pandemic, I just have all the amps here and I just use them <laughs> yeah. whenever. Yeah, the the only thing, parang misleading about those pedal amps, is they say yeah, twenty-two watts, hundred watts, and all that. Uh, but that's into four ohms, <laughs> ah, so the yeah. cab so has to be four right. ohms. So right. uh, unless it's like a four by twelve with a switch in the back, you know, mm-hmm. you don't you don't really get the full power. Because the speakers right. is usually eight yeah. or sixteen, and every time you double the ohms, you half the the output. Eh? That's exactly right. I'm pretty much stuck with um with eight. I, I try to, I try to keep it at eight. And um, what's your what's your recording? setup like because um, I mean you do a lot of home recording but yeah, you, you will, I, what, what's it like I, well I, I usually go direct I have my little interfaces here yeah. once in a while I mic up one of the cabs in the back I use a little speaker but I, I don't get to crank up the amp so much yeah although nowadays if you want to record a, a tube amp at home this is what you need well, don't, don't take it apart on my account no, 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 no. you might not be able to oh, put it back oh, okay. you, can, you can see it you can see it I can see it yeah so this That's is nice, a, a two notes uh, Torpedo Captor X. You pl- this is basically a load box, speaker load box. So you plug your amp in here, and then it's got a DI out now. And then you connect it to your computer, the co- Torpedo software, and then you can there you can do virtual miking and all that. Yeah, and it's and it sounds great. Yes, yes, it does. Love, some of that stuff works. Yeah, I mean, even even if I have like a, a really good multi effects. You you go direct and it's it's good, but then I plug into an amp into that, it feels better. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, it feels it makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah it's like you're you're holding your sound instead of like hearing it in front of you. you yeah, know? I and and for as good as simulators have been, I I still find them lacking. I don't know if it's because we come from a from an older school where you know none of that existed when we when we came out. It's, it's the something. tactile feel. It's 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 the it connection. Is. It's the connection. Because I know about nowadays there's a breed of guitarists who've never plugged into amps. I find that really tragic and difficult. <laughs> well, so. You know, because I was uh, sino ba to? See, Dave Friedman of Friedman Amps. You know, he he yeah. he's the one who brought it up, and he went he he went to Nam. He has a Nam booth. Tasa kanila they have this big isolation room so that they can blast the amps. You know, the free, yeah, of course. glorious free yeah. amps. <laughs> he has a he has a Jake Ely amp. He handed it to a kid. Sweet. That was good. And then as soon when when he uh, took it off standby, siempre ano na yung tunog yung yung feedback yeah. and all that. And then suddenly the guitar was like alive, and and the kid didn't know what to do with it, dude. It's like. Where's your noise gate? How, how do you how do you control this? <laughs> That's exactly it, right? You, you know. Wow. And then yeah. and then he goes back. Jake Ely comes in, <laughs> takes his app, <laughs> takes his finger, and does this. <laughs> all up <laughs> to ten, and then and then there's barely a there's barely a squeak. 
Like walang walang okay. walang pito. It's like yeah, you, you have to know how to tame the beast. <laughs> of course, you gotta know how to hold it. You know, solid. So solid. like the, yeah, like the new uh, newer generation. There's a newer generation that's only played through modelers. That's crazy. Yeah. It's like well, I guess that's like swimming in the swimming in the ocean and watching a documentary, right? Wildly, it's wildly different, and it gives you a really different appreciation. And or you practice in a pool, and suddenly you get tossed in the sea. You get tossed in the sea. It's like it's wildly different. I couldn't, I couldn't picture that. I mean, I guess maybe because like, listen, when I built this house, I built it. We built this house in 07. So uh, modeling at the time was really not where it is now. It was, it was you know, nowhere near where, where it's at now. So what I did was I built like a little. So you see this. This is a whole. That's a whole cabinet. That's a whole cabinet. That's concrete. That's a speaker chamber. That was my plan. So, I, I, so what I did was I would put my speaker cabinets inside. I would close it up. Then I've got a hole there and the speaker cables go in. So I, then I have all my amps laid up here and then I just crank it up, right? So I, I can crank it up. But anyway, unfortunately, sound travels well through the wall. So my daughter was getting, my daughter was waking up. And I was like, sorry, sweetheart. So I have to make an, I have to do something. So I, anyway, I built a, a speaker isolation box, which apparently they sell. But this thing is great, man. So... It's a box. It's about yay wide, about a meter, meter and a half. And so it, it basically fits a one by 12. And so like the first, so if it's this long, right, the first part is basically just the speaker. And then you have the, the, the main body of it. And then you have two microphones. You put like the, the XLR plugs, you know, uh, in there. And so I did. And so I bought a Celestion GLH you know, 30 watts, installed it, you know, it's all wood, had it fabricated, but I stuck it in there, wrapped it up with some cushioning and everything. It's freaking brilliant. And then I can just, <laughs> I can just rock it out, dude. Nice. And it sounds great. Of course, it's close mic. So I have, I have two mics. I have the e, e, uh, the Sennheiser E906 and an SF57. And I love it. And, and then you just leave it and that's it. And I just come in and just and then I just change the amp whenever I want. So uh, aside from the crate, what other amps do you use? Besides the besides the I don't know, besides the crate, the crate I can't use at home because it's too strong. The speaker's 30 watts long. So I've got the caliber 22, right? And then I've got this thing. Let me let me move okay. this around just so you can see. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, oh, there. there you go. I've got that thing. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> What's the <a> ass blaster? <laughs> Blaster, baby. That's my brand. <laughs> <laughs> Who made that? That's my old. That's my old PV Classic 30 that I ripped up and I I pimped it out, reconfigured it into the ass blaster. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, instead of gain, it's oomph. You notice. Know <laughs> so it's it's great and that, that's sort of what I, and then of course this guy the uh oh, dude, the, bronco, bronco, the bronco which you have on too but this yeah. is the same this is the one i bought in 92 or three or dude the, you're it. you're the one who turned me on to that when you brought that in my studio i had to have one right they're, yeah. they're so good they're yeah because so i remember like for the for the small amps we were doing the uh, we were doing our side project loose lips Right. Yes. Remember that? So we were we were doing that, and then you came in with a uh, one of those silver, so those solid state champs, XR champs or whatever, the yeah. si the silver face one. And then the week after, I yeah. bought one, and I used that for recording and all that. And then the next time I saw you, you brought the the Bronco. The Bronco. It's like uh, which Bronco. sounded sounded way better. Yes. Uh, yeah. Ten watts. Ten wow. watts, and 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 it had the the distor distortion character that we like, no. And then the the very next day, I went to Perfect Pitch in uh, Park right. Square, and <laughs> it's the only one left. Okay, that's mine. That is, <laughs> I yeah. bought, and I toured with that amp, dude. I remember, and then you you turned me on where you could use the external speaker. Yeah, yeah. that's where I learned all of this stuff. I'm yeah, like, damn, and I got a four by twelve from the audio file, yeah. the PV four by ten. Yeah, yeah, four by ten. Yeah, like, I got wow. that too. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. And then, which reminded me, like, uh, when you, your Kirk Hammett story earlier, uh, somebody yeah. switching. I had uh, one of my roadies uh, in the back. She she gita kapin dito ng distortion kasi it's foot switch. Wala foot switch. Wala foot switch. So I had my wireless, and he'd be he'd be you know he'd, he'd be the one switching it. And um, you. 
I use that amp sa folk arts theater, dude. Right? Like, yeah, I remember that, man. It's like I remember that we so, talked about that. Yeah, I so, so st- did you have it right in front of the stage? No, no, it was like in the back line. It, it was it, it was uh, on so it had a the stage had a Mesa Boogie, a Marshall Combo, and then the JCM eight nine hundred half stacks, no. And then what they yeah. did was they one of the flight cases they put on a riser. That's nandun yung amp ko sa tas ng riser. Tas bina katutok na mic. Yeah, and then and then I had I, I had my wireless and they had two guys in the back just you know making sure that they <laughs> made, make sure make sure that they switch at the at the correct time. <laughs> so he's like a folk art center. Nasa harap ako. And then I would go from clean clean to distortion. Wala akong Parang, ang sarap, like oh, ultimate freedom. Although that, right? some gigs, like I remember a, a, B, a gig in Bicol, the guy was uh, my my roadie was flirting with somebody off stage. Right, so he missed the so cue. So pag pasok pasok ng banda na kaklin sa ndako eh. Hoi. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> that feels it. The doctor, yeah. yeah. you know James Brown with the yeah Doc the Pay Chuck Berry. Oh, yeah. Deduction, yeah, yeah. fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Michael Jackson, then you know. By the way, you gotta see this pedal, man. The so L- 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 LG one. Yeah, the the wild boar pedal. Wild boar. Well got it for my birthday. Nice, great. nice. Oh, well, I, I saw I saw you posted that a while back. I, yes, I, I saw a yeah. picture. Yeah, it's great, man, and I love it. I love the fact that it's made here. You know, so I have two. I have this, and I have the shred head, which is also shred great. head. Yeah. I just came out with a pedal then. Uh, it's also made there. Get uh, out, yeah, really? It's called the uh, Bad 94. Sweet. Yeah, I yeah. gotta check it out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'd a, love to see that. It's a ba- based on the Shred Master, but with tweaks. Nice. Yeah, so it's a mar- but- basically Marshall in the box. Basically, like- yeah. So that's that's what I used to use then. So it's like a reissue. Because you can't, you can't get that pedal anymore. Which one, the Shred Master? Yeah, this, the, the, they stopped making it. You know I inherited one? Yeah, one? It's here, man. <laughs> I have one. It's great. I know. Sorry, I have the Drive Master. Drive Master, yeah. And Blues Breaker. Dude, those go for stupid money, especially the Blues Breaker. Really? Yes. I inherited this. My friend, you know, I don't. I think you met him, Alvin Aquino. You must have known him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he passed away a couple of years oh. ago, and so his his widow was like. I have all his guitar stuff. In fact, I bought this tele from him in like 19, in 2000 or 2001. You know, he had stopped playing guitar. And so he cut his fingers on a, in a woodworking accident. Ooh. Oh. And that was more, and then, he, then he, he didn't want to do the Tony Iommi yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. so he, anyway, so he, he sold the guitar. And anyway, so he passed away a couple of years ago. And his wife said, uh, his widow said, oh, here's all this guitar stuff and so because i'm with these two pedals yeah i know and they're great and they work great you know they're they're mint so yeah I mean, yeah and you, you even have the boxes <laughs> the box. <laughs> Dude. And, and they sound they sound really good yeah too. yeah and the one one really good thing was he was into woodworking right so he made all of these he made he had all of these um uh, guitar bodies that he made guitar bodies and guitar necks and so i took it to mixes or do i go popoy Mike, I don't get, let me know. Here's I gave it. It's like a whole bunch of stuff. I go, what can you make out of this, man? I mean, make me at least one tele, a strat, or a, a, at least two teles and a strat. I'd love it. So they made me one telecaster. They go, okay, we can this one, we can do. And I bought all the parts. You know, I got all original Fender parts for it, and we put it all together, and it came out just phenomenal. They did such a good job, and um, so that was his trip. So now, of course, pandemic, right? So I'm like, damn it, I I, if I want one more strat and one more out of that lot and that is what a great way to you know immortalize a friend you know what i mean he i mean never mind the pedals but the body he i mean and they sounded great and it's so bloody heavy because he was a big believer in hardwood so i'm like i'm big up you know at this age <laughs> no, that counts not <laughs> yeah i can't can't do that anymore i know sakit <laughs> Nice, nice, and and I I remember reading your post about that guitar, and do you still have yes. this? It, it's it's with you. Well, I gave it. You I gave, gave it, it to his son. 
Oh, okay, okay. Son. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I remembered. You gave it to his son. He, he should have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But right. it was great. I was. I'll be honest, man. I thought twice because I was like, this thing is so good. It's so sweet. Sustain for days. I was like, wow, this is great. Don't look at it. Don't look at yeah, it. Yeah, you, you can leave and have a bite. <laughs> It was so good, but in the end, I mean, obviously I had to do it. So I'm just waiting. I need, I need another one. It's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kung enjoy kayo dito sa video, pakibigyan lang ng thumbs up, like, tirahin nyo na yung subscribe button, at bagtingin yung maliit na kampanilya. I used to work for ABS-CBN for a while. I'm scoring some of the, the, the shows there. They, they had a disc that I borrowed. It was samples. They found this guy, um, Clyde something. He was the drummer of James Brown. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The most sampled they, drummer of all time. Yes, and so they were. The whole disc was him. Sam, samples of him. The, 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 uh, the main riff and then uh, the rolls and all that. Pero tangina, in between, nakikwento siya. That was the best part of the whole. Thing. <laughs> and he's like, "Man, James Brown, if you messed up, fifty dollars." <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, so like, every time I, when, when Rody screw up, fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> or or make wanting feedback or you miss your cue, right? Dude, you miss your cue, fifty bucks. Fifty man. bucks. <laughs> you know he's the most sampled drummer of all time, and he just recently got really? paid for it. Because everybody used what that. Do you what yeah. do you mean? Hey, look at your dog, dude. <laughs> what do you mean recently got paid? You never paid. You know that that drum break, you know the one of the drum breaks. Yeah, that's in him. So that's him, right? For yeah. ever since he, sampling got uh, accepted, that there there's a yeah. version of that <laughs> that beat on, yeah. on on every record, and he never got paid for it. What? Only recently, lang. So oh it's like God. posthumous, na. It's like so. It's it's, it's yeah. all set for his family. So but he got like fifty billion. <laughs> Fifty. He must have got it. Like, wait, has to be a lot. It has yeah, to be a lot. lot. It has to be a lot because every yeah. every record that used it would need to pay. But not just not just um not just artists, but newscasts, document. I mean, e everywhere it was used. A diamond, yeah, that e thing was used a lot. Man. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You know, to be fair, I loved it. I mean, when I would I would get that, and you know what I like the sample rate, uh, the sample rate, the BPM was you know eighty nine point four. It's like, so don't even so, bother. It's, it's all over the place. Yeah, you just got to get it and just loop it and play with it. So that's what I like about, the, so throughout this whole thing, right? It, it's been difficult to make music because you can't get in the studio with people. And that's really been the roughest, the roughest thing. And we're lucky we know how to record, you know, because like I've, I've, I've been doing home studio since the Razorback album, the Black album that was all recorded home studio, not all of my guitar parts. So you know we're very uh, we're very experienced when it comes to home recording and all that. Plus, you know, technology makes it. Easy. Sampling uh, a really good drum beat and and having a great beat uh, on there is critical for me as a player. It's critical to the, my my process. Like you know, now Apple has like GarageBand and you have Drummer. So I use Logic to do it, and you have Drummer that never existed in the past. It was. I used to use like Fruity Loops. Which yeah. The drum. Fruity Loops. Remember Fruity Loops? Or, uh, or so acid. Acid. <laughs> acid. Acid. I would, I would do that. But it, it, it was, it, it was, you, you, I really need, I really need that to be able to, a big part of my, my, my process of writing. And that's why a lot of times I would go with Brian and the two of us would go to the studio, just him and I, and then I'd have my phone or a recorder on and I would just record him, you know, and I, him and I, and that's how we would work together. And then I would take those for his recordings and bring them home and sample them. And in fact, I have all the last, so our, the Black Album and the last album and all his recordings, I have them because I, I always request it. So give me all the drum tracks. So I have all the drum tracks and then I chop them up and I make little samples and that's what I use. So when I when I you know, like when I want to do something, normally I'll put drummer, sure, but more often than not, before the drummer thing came out, I would get little Brian samples and just drag them for 20 minutes, and then I would just jam for like 20 minutes, you know. And that's sort of how it's been, and, and that's a great process. So I, I really, so even if it's the beat is, even if the BPM is weird, you know, it's okay. <laughs> so something like that, like so it's like you're really playing with a real person because you know. It's, part of it as as close to the the beat gets to breathe the rhythm gets to breathe, yeah it's you know? a real person it's not it's mm -hmm. not quantized you know to a to a thing but that's been the struggle i mean and i know you struggled with the same though you're gonna get out of it sooner than we are just getting in the same room with people man 
right? Yeah, it's it's. That's I mean, we what you need. we we rehearsed. Right? We rehearsed recently, like uh, over the weekend for the first time. It was it's like it's like weird, like oh, I haven't seen you for over <laughs> 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 over twelve months. <laughs> I know, man. Damn. You know, it's, oh, it's, we we could do this. <laughs> I know. I mean, I can't. I mean, I guess when we're all fully vaccinated, we can all do it without any issue. But we're all one. We're, I think everyone's vaccinated except Manuel and I have one more shot in August. And I think once that's done, we should all be good. And because it's iba pare when you're in the same room with. You oh know, yeah, you yeah. Be, I mean, it's it's uh, the the just playing off the energy is different. You know? I know. So I mean, we're, we're we're coming up with new material, sending things back and forth. But it's basically me playing <laughs> off a drum loop. Yeah. And you know, luckily Manuel has logic. And Manuel's very good at this stuff, right? So I'll put up a logic session and I'll send him the whole thing, and then he'll send it back. And I'm like, wow, it sounds so nice because <laughs> he cleaned up the drums. Yeah. yeah. I, I I just put whatever on the drums. I'm not. I can't. I don't know what to do. I'm not very good at that programming the drums. <laughs> who's your that. Who's your uh, go-to drum logic drummer? Nine out of ten times, it'll be Darcy on the singer, on the Bluebird or whatever. Darcy, <laughs> nice, nice. First, first one that comes out. And when Manuel, Manuel cleans it up and it comes in, I'm like, damn, that's what I wanted it to sound like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so and then so it's a back and forth, and then we pass it to Kev, but Kev doesn't have software, so it's like it'll be just gonna be three, and it's different when you're in the same room. You're like, oh, I like that. Do that again. That little moment which you don't have now is the yeah. biggest, <laughs> the biggest moment. The make or break one. That's the one. Oi. Okay, I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll keep playing that. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Do you know how many of the greatest songs of in the world were written like that? Oi, do that again. That was cool. Do that again. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Or what was? Oi, that. What was that? <laughs> yeah. Can you, you figure, you know, fig, figure it? Again. Figure it out. It? Figure it out. Don't Remember lose it. it. Don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, now you don't do that anymore. Under these conditions, you haven't been able to. Yeah, do it. and and, and the biggest crap. struggle is like you if you're recording yourself then. <laughs> you know, all, all these things come Ooh. out, <laughs> and then as soon as you press it, press it down, record. It's like. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's always, man. Yeah. Like yeah. Or else you're like, ah, oh, that was great. What a brilliant take. And you look. Hindi <laughs> 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 or, or, or something was something was muted or what? It's like, ah. <laughs> well, listen, hey, the fact that you can do it, I mean, look, if you're going to be in the pandemic, today is the best time to be in one because you have all this technological stuff that helps you. I mean, imagine if... And the learning curve is not not as steep as before. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine 1997 going through this crap? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be dead. No chance. Oh, wala. No Come chance. On. No chance. Even sabi, kahit na sabi mo 2001, no, wala rin. Ganun pa rin. <laughs> It'll be a mess. Yeah. So, I mean, now at, at least you're you're able to do stuff. And um, I mean, you're yeah. doing great. I mean, this whole thing is is phenomenal. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's 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 a good reset. Because you suddenly you're afforded the time that you wish you had. <laughs> yeah. Hello, yeah, so at the that's one- a lot of, um, I, I spoke, if there's one, and me and my friends, we all agree, if there was one good thing about all of this, you got to spend a lot of time at home with your kids, and you really, I mean, you just hung, and you just hang out because there's nothing else to do. I mean, especially, uh, I have to go to work, so my work, I, I go every day now, but in the first two, three months, everything was shut. So I was, it was the first time in a long time that I'm literally at home all day, every day. And it was cool, man, you know, and you get to hang with the kids. So I, I it's it wasn't as bad, you know, as uh, like, like, I guess because there was something you were, I was getting out of it. And I know I'm not the only one, man. Any any touring musician for, of, of any capacity, I, I listen to a lot of these podcasts, a lot of the comedians were the same. They're like, Dude, I'm I'm off the road now, but I spent so much time. I've been on the road for years. Now I'm home with my kids. I I've never done this. This is great, you know. So uh, there's that, which which is which is something. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you for your pet lick. What's your like favorite pet lick, or or the Tirso Ripoll lick? That is the quintessential. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You're just playing the way I play. 